Republicans are granting amnesty. That's right, Republicans, amnesty. Now, despite the White House's own admission that it's avoiding this issue until after the midterms, only one Republican is touching the issue, Arkansas Senate candidate Tom Cotton. But get this, he's up seven points in the latest Fox News poll, so maybe Republicans should be listening to Pat Cadell. The Republicans should be out there saying, you know what they will do after the election. If you want the president to do that, then vote for them. If not, vote for us. I mean, I'm just saying... All right, to Pat Adele on why the Republicans won't touch the topic. Well, we've got one guy out there. He's polling very well with it. It's not too late. But why are they so intimidated by this, Pat? Well, I, uh, it's amazing to me. I've never seen a party that doesn't grab opportunities thrown at it like this. Attitudes on, on the question of amnesty by the president, which, by the way, will sink any comprehensive eventual plan on immigration, any step-by-step -step process. He is going to do this. He has said he's going to do it. It's an insult to the voters, first of all. But the Republicans add to the insult, and the reason is because they have a lot of donors and a lot of their lobbyists in Washington telling them they want this. The Chamber of Commerce wants open borders. The Wall Street Journal wants open borders. These Republicans don't seem to understand that the country is in, massive sh is in a massive shift. Huge majority saying the president doesn't have the authority right. to do this, he shouldn't do it without the Congress, and they should challenge it. Even in New York, Charles, 57 to 31 in the Rasmussen polls saying that the president should not do this without the Congress. New uh, York. And, and here's the thing, Pat, you know, um, it, it's pretty transparent and even... Uh, we even have a sound uh, where there's an admission of that. I want you to take a listen, and then I want to get some feedback from you on it. Good. The president uh, moved forward with his announcement prior to Election Day. You would have seen uh, Republican candidates do more to make the immigration in issue central to their campaign. Uh, and in the event that they were successful in their campaign, the concern would be that they would cite their opposition to immigration reform uh, as a reason for their success. So that's Josh Ernest, the spokesperson. Uh, Pat, and he laid it out there. So why, why aren't, I, I don't get why. Well, here, this is what I get. Uh, the last time out, the Republicans are, felt like they made a lot of mistakes. This time they're trying to tippy-toe. It's sort of like a football game to prevent defense, in my mind, where you're winning by 28 points going into the fourth quarter because you kept throwing the ball, but now you keep running it, and all of a sudden you lose. I mean, it's, don't they grasp about the idea of being aggressive on something that even the White House knows is a winning proposition for them? Yeah, the, the White House is panicked about this. That's when I saw those numbers or a few weeks ago. That's when I knew, and the White House pulled back. They got the same numbers. They know how dangerous. Ernest laid it out. The Republican Party, and they're not called the stupid party for nothing. These people are able to, you know, are willing to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory given the opportunity. And they have one right now. Yes, right. they've made mistakes, but this is a different issue. So, so it is also the contempt of the president for the, ele for the electoral process and the constitutional so process. So before I let they you go, Pat, be... I want you to yeah. listen to Tom Cotton's ad because his, this is one guy who's going for the winning, to win the game. I'm Tom Cotton. I approve this message. Our southern border. Chaos and crime. Washington made the mess. Senator Mark Pryor voted for amnesty. Citizenship for illegals. Pryor voted against a border fence three times. And now, Pryor ignores the crisis. We have a much more secure border today than we did 10 years ago. Seriously, Senator? We have a much more secure border today than we did 10 years ago. It's time to retire Pryor. And there's a poll uh, right there. Tom Cotton uh, with a nice, sizable lead over Senator Mark Pryor. Yeah. Uh, so, so, Pat, I, you know, I, again, as a political, as someone who's been in this game for a long time and understanding what's at stake, but also understanding that, you know, trying to sit on these sort of things and drifted victory, it often doesn't work. It often backfires. Holding the ball is the worst strategy. It is a disaster. 
The Republicans lost the Senate that they should have won in 2000, 2012, because they refused to, quote, be controversial about anything. They've lost, they have blown this before. I've seen Democrats do the same thing. The worst thing in politics is to choke up and hold the ball. They should be taking this issue and making, and making it a national referendum issue against every Democrat and for every Republican in the country. Well, and as I said, even those who right. favor comprehensive immigration reform, Obama is going to sink that. This is a payoff to his constituent groups. Well, we'll see if uh, some of these guys think that they'll get some credit for not campaigning on this uh, from that same constituent no. group down the road. I doubt it happened. That, thanks a lot, Pat. Really it appreciate it. It never does. All right. Great. Hey, ISIS Thank terrorists, you, they continue to gain ground in Syria and now said to be closing in on Baghdad. So why is the president reportedly turning his attention to closing Gitmo? Well, you know we're all on that after this.